Hi, Joan Burge with another reality check. So interestingly, I have this whole I have a folder with notes. This is what I do as I walk around and I talk to people. I actually have notes everywhere. And this is what I do. This is, you know, I'm scribbling. People are talking to me. I'm jotting these notes down. This is what I want to talk about. This is what I want to talk about. Well, here's one. <laughs> Very interesting. And I was having dinner one night with a senior human resource director. Senior, senior level. And uh, what we were talking about was succession planning for executive and administrative assistants. And that's something I firmly believe in. I really believe that organizations should have succession planning for assistants. Um, so that in the future, as we have the very seasoned executive assistants moving on, retiring in the next five to six years, that there actually are assistants moving up that are being groomed, being mentored, actually being trained to move into those prime positions in supporting the senior executives and the CEO in an organization. After all, those are top, top positions, and they can't afford to not be with a great assistant for a very long time. So this particular human resource executive is very much into succession planning and believes it and is trying to bring it about. And so one of the things we talked about was, will assistants really take hold of this though? Leaders and, and people who are in management, they will, will jump hoops to be groomed for a future high level position. They take the time, they will move if they have to move. They'll put in the hours if they have to put in the hours. They will not necessarily get a salary increase because they're putting in more time to be groomed. And so the comment was, well, gee, even if an assistant is offered to be groomed for the future, will they truly want to take advantage of it? Will they commit? Will they say the next three years I am going to dedicate to being trained, to learning, to being mentored, to job shadowing? Maybe I will have to move to another city within our state to be able to get that advancement. Maybe you'd even have to move out of state. You know, maybe you work in a division right now for a big corporation, but they want to groom you so that in three years from now you could work for the top CEO. Would you move? Would you pick up your family? So while um, as assistants, we have a, there's a lot of great ideas out there and you contribute a lot, but the truth is, the reality check is, if we said yes, would you really do it?